Hi, welcome to episode two of Adventures of Sam Sam. I'm your host, Sam, and we're in Tulum. Tulum is located two hours south of Cancun in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. This will be my home for the next week. In Tulum, there's an amazing juxtaposition between beach and jungle. Beach, jungle, beach, jungle. Tip number one, the mosquito net isn't just jungle fashion. If you don't want to be eaten alive, get in it and stay in it. <coughs> Tip number two, don't drink the water. Tip number three, you don't need to go to Playa del Carmen. Well, unless you like And tip number 3.5, if you do go to Playa del Carmen, do not buy drugs in the bathroom. Tip number four, there's not a lot to do in Tulum after dinner, so it's a good idea to bring your laptop and some DVDs so you can watch some movies before you fall asleep. Right now we're on our way to Moyel, which is a small town outside of Tulum. We hear they've got some ruins, so we're gonna go check them out. Today we're in Moyil. It's part of the Biosphere Sian Khan, a natural reserve, housing many, many species, including pumas, manatee families, dolphins, mosquitoes, butterflies, blah, 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 etc., etc. We're gonna check out uh, a temple, some ruins, and the biosphere. There's a temple behind me. Stuff here dates back to 350 BCE. That's some old shit. A much more secret mine temple lies hidden in Moyel, just outside of Tulum. If you want to avoid the large crowd of sunburnt tourists gathered at the Tulum ruins, come here. It is one of the earliest and longest inhabited ancient mine sites on the eastern coast of the Yucatan Peninsula. Right now we're in the Sian Khan Biosphere. Last year we tried to go in here and my boyfriend and I got in an almost relationship ending fight. No, we did Over where the manatee family is. They're here. So now we're back again no, this no, year. Shut up. We're back again this year looking for the manatee family and we're no further along. So we've arrived in the biosphere and I still don't see any fucking manatees. We found a crab and some pretty pristine beach. Right now we're at Cenote Escondido. A cenote is a natural sinkhole, as you see here, that fills up with water. Ancient mines used to use it to bury their dead and give sacrifices. They said that it took you into the other world. Huh? I want to eat lunch. They had a pretty rad diving board, which I just couldn't resist. <laughs> Happy! Today we are at Grand Cenote. Later on that day, we visited Grand Cenote. The Yucatan Peninsula has more than 6,000 of these natural swimming holes. They vary in all shapes and sizes. I suggest you check out as many as you can. Kind of crowded. So right here is a map of the cave connections in the cenotes. Cenotes here have the largest underwater cave connections in the world. 300 kilometers of underwater caves that you can dive into and disappear off into another world. There's big bats in the caves. Where to eat when in Tulum? El Tabano for sure. B Tulum may be pricey, but it's great for sunset snacks and a nice breakfast. 
Mmm, that's yummy orange juice. Ahua Tulum was started by the creators of Burning Man. They've got some nice food and a DJ that plays house music on the beach. Mateos isn't lying. They actually do have the world's best fish tacos. Casa Banana is great for dinner. Get the ribeye and the fresh whole fish. Yum! And Zamas Ocean View and Huevos Rancheros is the perfect cure for your tequila hangover. Well kids, that was our show. There's so much more to do, but just not enough time. Next year, we'll see you back with Sam Sam Snorkel School and Sightseeing Adventures. But until then, adios amigos.